Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. The human brain has the capacity of 100 terabytes. That's nearly 50% of my porn collection. We use memories to remember crucial things like people we've met, what we've done, but we can't seem to remember one thing. Where is my tablet pen? Surely our superior brain would have remembered that the pen is next to the tablet. But it's not. Maybe it's under the table. It rolled off like a rebellious boy. Nope. Perhaps I left it in the bathroom, because I was twirling it in the air, feeling like an anime kid. But then I remember taking it back to the desk with me. How did it magically disappear? John G. Green Jason wrote, This is fucking bullshit. His entire book contains only four words, but originally it was going to be a graphic novel. Sometimes when you put a tablet pen in a place that you are guaranteed to remember, it will still disappear even though you've remembered 100% on where you've placed it. This effect is known as, wait, I put it right there effect. But here's the thing, a tablet pen falls in line with the Schrodinger's cat experiment. Research done by Nell Ties Grass shows that when you leave a tablet pen in a room and leave the room, it becomes a superposition. This means that the pen is in the room and not in the room at the exact same time. In the multiverse, there is a 1.75% chance that you will re-enter the room without the tablet pen. These objects cause anomalies in space-time, and its energy can be harnessed using the right equipment. MIT is developing a gravitational circular field by- Hey Michael, I found your pen! Oh! It was under your books! Well... The... And as always, thanks for watching. Wait, this is like copyrighted music, right? Shit. Hey, this was voice acted by Amused Nacho. He has- uh, he's really cool. He's got- He's got flow. <laughs> oh my god. Damn right I've got flow, huh?